I have a new kid coming this week. She has a great personality. She's spunky. She speaks for herself. Her mother doesn't have to talk for her. And she's a nice little dancer. I'm bringing a new little girl on the team this week. Her name is Fallon. She came to my Orlando audition. She stepped on stage, and she lit the whole room up. Fallon might just be the perfect fit for my new junior elite competition team. So I thought, you know what, give the kid the benefit of the doubt. She's stuck in my head. Bring her in, see how she does. Hello! Hi, how are you? Good. This is Fallon, this is Gianna. Hi. Your mother, this is I'm Cheryl. Cheryl. Yes. Mom, we're going to hit her with a lot of choreography. You can have the greatest technique in the world and gorgeous legs and feet, but if you can't pick up, then you can't do a number in two days. And that's what we have to do. OK, go ahead. You're going to go right through this door. Thank straight. You so much. Thank you. We're excited. Let's go, ladies. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Hi. So, Fallon. Say hello to the girls. This is Fallon, and this is her mother, Cheryl, and they are from uh, near Orlando, Florida. Can you tell us a few things about yourself? I won four titles and first overalls for a lot of them. And you're 11 now? Yes, ma'am. I brought Fallon here because I'm building a new team. Is she going to be part of that new team? Is somebody on this team going to be part of that new team? Casting an entire new team is a difficult task. I need to try out these kids so I can see how they work with the group, how their mother gets along with others, how they do in a competition. I need to find out now, and that's why Fallon's joining us. I want you to roll like a log. I'm giving Fallon a routine entitled Voices in My Head. It's a contemporary piece. This routine has all different emotional changes throughout. You know what? I was actually a little surprised to hear that Cheryl is only like her <gasps> ages. There's no way. She's 10 years older than she's saying. You think? Yep. I don't think so. Why not? Look at her. She's a lot older than Lo Jill looks. Well, has... <laughs> Jill also likes to keep herself fresh. Let's be honest. <laughs> I don't know about well, Fallon. Well, Fallon's an unknown entity. Well, we, right. don't, we don't know anything about her. We don't know how she competes. We've never seen her compete a solo on stage. So yeah. she could be great on stage, on stage right. for a competition, or she may not. Arms, arms. Land that bigger. Your fourth is too tight. and a big enough butt for everybody at the Abbey Lee Dance Company. I don't want my dancers to look like that. You just walked on stage with that guy hanging up, and, and your arms are not moving. You're walking like this. Look at me. You're walking like this. Fallon's really having a rough time. She can't pick up on the choreography like our kids. Abby wants someone that comes in and that is better than our girls. And this is not the one. This is not the kid. They don't bring home a win this week. They have to live with that next week. It, it takes a group. You win as a group, you lose as Absolutely. a group. Absolutely. We've won nine times. Are we going to win again with her? That's the pressure I would feel as a mom and a daughter coming into a winning team. And every time we see her, she brings bigger guns, better, yeah, more. Yeah, exactly. This week, the girls are under so much pressure. Not only are we up against the candy apples, but we're up against our own record. And clearly, the only wild card in the group is Fallon. You know what? I am going to take a phone call. Abby's not going to give you anything. All of these kids have had to earn their space. Blood, sweat, tears, but not only theirs, but ours as well. We have all done that. Oh, hey. Hey. I'm sorry. I know the Fallon's here, and I invited you to come here, but right now, I'm wishing the Kalani was here. Why? because she's a much stronger dancer than your daughter, and she's gorgeous, so. So you're calling my daughter ugly and weak? No, you said that, not me. 
I'm just saying that I don't think Fallon is helping the team. I think she may hurt the team. She's doing a phenomenal job for how little she has been in the thing. The judges right. don't know that. But when she gets out on stage, she's a different kid. Nobody knows that, and nobody cares. When she steps out on the stage with those kids, with my kids, all eyes are going to be on her because she's the new kid on the block, and nobody knows who she is. She deserves a shot, a chance. You've had her for two days. That's it. Are you crying? Are you crying? I, I'm upset. You're insulting my daughter. I'm insulting you. It's embarrassing. Girls, girls, come on. I want you to start waking up and let's get your stuff together. But I want to see your costumes. Are they all finished? We did them all in the studio before we left. They're done? Yes. They're finished? Yes, they're finished. OK, and what about your solo costume? I, we don't have it. What do you mean you don't have it? I assumed you all had it. You left it at the studio, the one she's dancing in? You're telling me you didn't grab it? No, I didn't know I was taking that whole thing. That's your costume. Fallon, that's your solo costume. You're doing a solo for the Abby Lee Dance Company. You should have grabbed that costume. If your mother didn't have it together enough to grab it, you should have said, wait, Mom, where's my costume? Cheryl, I don't know where your dance mom training came from, but it's certainly not in keeping with the ALDC. I don't need this crap. Not now. OK, so Cheryl, what are your plans for a costume? What? She can choose what she wants or she doesn't let her dance. But I know, before but... you got on the bus, why don't you have said, do we have lashes, do you have makeup, do you have your costume? Or do should I bring her back up? Yeah. But it seems like we're always kind of playing catch up here. Because we're just thinking that you would know some of those things. Good morning, Abby. Fallon, I need to look at these dresses on you. I spent my entire morning looking for dresses for Fallon to wear as a costume because her mother left it sitting at the dance studio. I mean, come on, lady. I am sick and tired of babysitting you. I feel like we're dealing with some little orphan here. You're doing your makeup. I did the whole costume thing. Somebody loans you trunks. I mean, this is a charity case. I've tried the best that I can. If there's I know, a set of Your daughter's 11 years old. She's been dancing since she was three. Eight years of clues, lady. She has not been dancing since she's three. She started when she was eight. All right, well, that's your first failure. All right, up next in the junior solo division, we have entry number 17. This is Fallon's opportunity to make an impression. I want to see how she handles the spotlight and also how she handles the pressure. This is Fallon with voices in my head. <laughs> for me. She just forgot the whole dance, and she's making all this crap up as she goes along. So disqualify her. Well, we can't disqualify her for that reason. You know and I know, because we've I seen them. Here. I know you know it, and it's OK. Oh. Oh, hey. You OK? Oh, what happened? She sliced it. That's why she started improv -ing. Oh, I didn't even see That's that. Why. She started improv -ing. She rolled over and heard it. And we were wondering what happened. I've never seen her do anything like this That's since she's been dancing. It happens. It was not her time. Hey, ladies. Hi. Hi there. Hi, OK, here it comes. Hey, ladies, I 
just came in to tell your new little teammate how noble of you to keep dancing. That's what it's all about, doll. It's all about forgetting your dance and keep going. I would never run to the judges station to try and have you disqualified, which is what Abby did. Yeah, 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 okay. You need to go, honey. She's not one of our students. Oh, oh, nice! How about that? She came in, learned her solo in two days like we do, and it wasn't great on stage. Where does it say in the rules that you have to learn your solo in two days? Our kids work their asses off day in, day out. And our kids under, don't? No, no, they don't. Leave, leave. It's amazing the things that you guys are fed into your bubble heads. At least we don't have bubble butts. Oh, God. Slam it, slam it, slam it. I can't believe the audacity of Kathy coming into our dressing room. You know what, Kathy? Mind your own business. All right, Fallon. I'm very disappointed in you. We worked hard on that routine. You went out there. You forgot your dance. You were just bumbling around on the stage. I don't really need your side of the story. I don't really care what happened because the judges and the audience all think that you were a little kid who got in way over their head this week and forgot their dance. Don't cry, because you're going to make me feel bad for yelling at you. All right? In third place, with a score of 276.3 points, is Miss Fallon with act number 17, Voices in My Head. Fallon? ends up getting third place. Just imagine if she would have done the choreography that she was given. You guys can go. Fallon, Cheryl, I'd like to talk to you for a moment, OK? I think it's clear to everyone at this time that we reached the end of the road for Cheryl and Fallon. I think it's time, for everyone's sake, that they go home. I just want you to know that you had your chance, you had your golden opportunity. You could have went out there and beat Kendall. Then you would have a spot on this team. And some of those kids that you just danced in this group with, they're not that fabulous. But somehow, they make it work. And that comes with time. And we don't have time, OK? Forgetting a costume, unforgivable. Doing your own choreography in place of mine, psh, never going to happen. How are you? Good lord. I just oh want to say stand up tall. So what did you think uh -huh. of your first pyramid? Yeah, you never know. I didn't know what to expect. I really didn't think she'd be on the bottom. But Kathy, you're new. Like, I you know. know. I, I you're new. know, but I still, I thought that was a lot of pressure on a little kid. Kendall absolutely should be on the bottom of that pyramid. I think Kendall should take a permanent residency at the bottom of the pyramid. We've been dealing with this one for a long time. You've got like three days under your belt, sister. Get used to the bottom row. I do this. The number we're doing for Rising Star is called the Bad Apples. It's a 1940s number, a little Andrew Sisters, a little Katy Perry, and also a little jab to Kathy from Candy Apple. Three days, she learned a solo. They switched the music the night before. That's Welcome what we do every week. My kid still has no music. I just don't understand why she couldn't have thrown her a little bone. Jill was up there bitching because Kendall was at the bottom. I just don't get it. I've been at Abby's studio for 30 years, and my kids are always at the bottom. She's already starting off on a bad foot. I don't think it's fair for her to put the new kid who did a solo and did well at the bottom of the pyramid. But do you think it's OK for a kid who's been here for nine years to be put at the bottom of the pyramid? Basically, Nia, Chloe, or Maddie have to be bumped down in order for it to be OK, is what I'm hearing. Well, he, that's sort of. That's what yeah. I'm hearing. In order for Kendall to go up, someone on top has to go down. Who has to go down? Is it Nia? Is it Chloe? Is it Maddie? I had an idea of who she suspected should be at the bottom of the pyramid. Uh, it's you saw so Nia. subjective. You think better than Nia? Well, I think had Kendall and Nia competed directly against each other, I, I do. I mean, that's just, I'm just being honest, Holly. Kendall was the star at her studio, and now she's not the star. And I think that's really hard for Jill to handle. You say you want to be accepted and you want to be part of the group, but then you come in here and 
Like, you can't lay down the gauntlet saying, my kid's better than all of your kids. I kind of think of this group a little bit like a sorority. Like, you pledge a little bit, you kind of like, mm, you sit back, you pay your dues, and then you get to the top. Like, I don't think you can come in here expecting to be like, boom, I'm at the top because I say so. I think she deserves it. it. We all work. I can't worry about your kids. I got to worry about mine. Don't worry about my daughter. I I'm can't. just telling you she's not going to give you everything because she doesn't give me everything, and I've been here a whole hell of a lot longer than you. So wait a minute. But you're in your honeymoon period. You probably could get away with talking to her, whereas the rest of us could never say a word. You might be able to get her ear and, like, mm -hmm. speak your piece. Do I interrupt this class? I, I suggested that Jill go down and talk to Abby because I think everyone needs a little initiation when you join our group. And the best way to get that is to go right in there and tell Abby Miller how you feel. Hold eight, flick it one, point your feet, Mackenzie! Oh, gosh. Okay, ready? Go, whoa! Abby, I need to talk to you. Can, can we have two minutes? Two minutes? You shouldn't even be in here with those shoes on. Jill doesn't understand how the dynamics in my studio work. She's been at this a long time. She spends thousands of dollars on competition entrance fees when she should have been spending all that money on technique classes. Does anybody have any popcorn? You really need to go stay with the other mothers. I just wanted to talk to you about Kendall. Give me a minute. Maddie, count it up. We played by your rules. Right. I'm a little disappointed that Kendall's at the bottom of the pyramid. Abby, I need to know what you need from me to get her up. She's I don't need dancer. anything from you. Ladies, I don't hear anybody counting. One and two and three and four and look at her feet. They're not even together. Look at her feet. They're still not together. Kendall, squeeze your feet, honey. Put know, your but, ankles but, together. But we can't have honey, 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 uh, honey, honey. Leave it up to me. I, I will. She I will. will sink or she will swim. And I'm counting on you. Right. Just and like, I, I have faith just in like you and you're my You're going to pay a lot of money to go to Harvard. Someone's going to be the valedictorian, and thousands of other people aren't. I liked watching Abby shut Jill down, just because Jill definitely has ulterior motives. I think she'll do anything to get Kennel ahead. Does everyone want to be on the top hard. of the pyramid? Yes. Well. OK. All right. Let's go. All right. Work it. How about Jill? Oh, being mad that Kendall's at the bottom oh, of the pyramid. No. Hello, you're brand new. Oh, I'm a team player, but I can't worry about your girls. Kelly and I are at lunch, and of course, the main topic of conversation is the new girl. <gasps> I forgot, I brought something to show you. I have a book from a competition from a few years ago. Oh, you're getting me? Because uh -uh, <laughs> I keep my books. Chloe, Maddie, and Kendall all danced in the same age group against one another solos, and Jill never remembered our girls beating her daughter. I remember. Chloe was actually three. Maddie was one. Kendall was 10. Mm. Are you going to take that and show her tonight? I might. Oh, I think you should. She doesn't know what she's messing with, because I got these books for years back. So if she <laughs> wants to play that game, I'll pull them all out. I think there's more to Jill's story than meets the eye. I think that we all need to do a little digging and find out why she's a studio hopper and why all of a sudden she's knocking on our door when she's lived down the street from us for years. I think there's a lot to be learned about Jill, and I think it's better to know what you're dealing with than to be blindsided. Anyone who talks like this all the time just can't be trusted. Five, six, seven, eight. Ugh. Play A when you land! Turn out! Turn out! Oh my god, I know what I wanted to show you. I was going through Chloe's shelf, and I found the book from the competition that we were talking about. Oh, uh, which one? Oh, with... The one oh, that we were saying, oh. yeah, and I have all the scores written down from that competition. Chloe was third, Maddie was first, but Kendall was 10. So. Christy brought the program book to show it to Jill because she wants her to know my daughter is going to be a threat to you. That's why but you, you don't care worried. about winning. I'm not going to let them get to me. Even if they're intimidated by me or my little eight-year-old, I'm going to make it work. Mia, your garage you tell you to change directions. What's the word? What about the world's ugliest Abby. costumes? Nothing about that. But Abby wants Jill and Holly downstairs. Have fun. Why? Yeah. Crap. We're going to find out. Rehearsals aren't going as well as I would like. I had to call Holly and Jill down 
I wanted them to see with their own eyes what Nia and Kendall keep doing wrong. Watch Nia, watch this jump. It's a split, jeté chain stretch. Did you see that front foot? Completely flexed. And watch. Look at Kendall's feet never are together. So did you find anything out about Jill? Well, I could just down there, you can speak freely. Did she mention to you, like, why all of a sudden she decided to come here? She <laughs> said she's wanted to come here for years. But I said, I why believe that for one minute. She lives down the street, and she, yet she drove she's an hour in each direction. She's been six years. I just think she gets tired of studios. Me too, but somehow I don't I know. Stick I, it out. I heard some stuff, and I don't think it's getting tired of studios. Really? What I have you heard? It's getting kicked out of studios. Hey, why don't you give Abby her little gift we got her? In a shocking turn of events, Melissa and Jill announced that they went shopping and they could. They bought a gift for Abby because that's what I think about when I'm shopping. What can I bring Abby? It's just a little something that Melissa and I. <laughs> We saw it and thought of you. Oh! Pretty. Now I need a gold outfit to go with it. Uh -huh. And gold earrings and gold necklace. And... You can get that next week. We'll keep it up. <laughs> yeah, that's sure Beautiful. Well. Look. Thank you. Well, hey, ladies, I'm going to put this away, but thank you very much for thinking of me. How about the next time you're out? I need a husband. Ladies, think of everything I yelled at you about five days ago, four days ago, three days ago, two days ago, yesterday. And go over that dance in your head. This is really important to me personally. It's really important to your moms. Kendall's a competitor, but I'm not sure she fully understands what's at stake here. Kendall, this is about you getting an Abby Lee Dance Company jacket or going back to the regular classes. You understand? Yes, Mom, you understand that? I do. Okay. So to, in order to do I that, those, you expect... I want your corrections that I've corrected fixed. Kendall forgets that she is still on probation. And unless these technical issues get cleaned up quickly, her days are numbered. All right, girls, let's go. Break the leg! Are you the new little girl? Yeah. No, you're you the one that said hi to me? To no, walk by? I don't think so. Oh, hey, good luck. Thank you. You know, I didn't appreciate Kathy going up to Kendall in the wings and wishing her good luck. Oh, you're the new girl? Good luck. She's a grown adult. Why would you do that to a little kid? What's up with your guys' hair? It's interesting. OK, have fun. We are going to just slaughter the candy apples. Next up, Abby Lee Dance Company with Bad Apples. dancers and all of the little apples. I was clearly represented. <laughs> I love it. I really think that their faces and their facial expression and kind of that old fashioned look really stood out during the performance. I thought they did great. Well, that went down the tubes, didn't it? What? Well, when Kendall goes early and doesn't hold and doesn't listen to the music, Kendall, do you play an instrument? You need to. You need to learn to read music. You need to learn to hear it. Oh, you have to step up the face if you're standing next to this one. She was over the top of the face. Girls, this was an easy baby dance. I'm very upset with the girls. This was an easy piece, and they blew it. Abby, don't you think those girls were much older than ours? They looked much older. That's my job. I need to worry about that. You think those girls were 9 and 10 years old? No, I don't think they were 9 and 10. However, I look like an idiot that I just can't win on our own talent and I choreography and win. costuming. I, I, I have think to call somebody that. out because I think their kids are too old. I'm going to have to walk out of here with my tail between my legs, getting beat, 
by Kathy from Candy Apple. And I'm a little worried. I think you should be worried, too. How'd you guys get that Amish hairdo? Amish. 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 No, you should know that. That's 40. You know what, Kathy? Why don't you go think of something good to say, then come back and talk to me? Because if that's all you got, it's not that good. They're about to announce the group awards, and I'm dreading it. Kathy's girls are good. I think this might be the one time that Kathy beats us. Third place, number 47, Doc of the Bay. <laughs> Second place, number 44, Bailey Spinola. <laughs> and Doc Peter Schalter, number 43, Apple <laughs> I guess that Abby was right about the rat and the snood, because we did win first place. I guess the judges liked that. It went with the theme of the dance. I think it's time for some pork chops and applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like them apples, Kathy? So my first duet entitled Nancy and Tanya, Nancy Kerrigan, Tanya Harding. This duet will go to Kalani, you will be playing the role of Nancy. And Sarah, you will be playing the role of Tanya. I think the last feud that was in this little group, that was the Tanya of the group. Let's just make that clear. Shame on you for talking funny. about a little Are you girl. Kidding me? Don't, Are you kidding me? Don't. Are you kidding me? Uh, 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 Don't tell me shame on me for saying anything. I like Tanya. I can be Tanya. It's the Olympics. You're performing for an audience. She was America's sweetheart. She smiled, and I, I don't see that. All right, let's see you two. I put Sarah and Kalani in a duet, Tanya Harding and Nancy Kerrigan. That's a famous duet, if I've ever heard of one. Hello! Tanya Harding would stop at nothing to get a winning spot at the Olympics. And considering how badly Tracy wants her Sarah to dance with the ALDC team, I'm gonna hide the crowbars. Tanya Harding, more aggressive. I'm having Kalani and Sarah perform a duet about the rivalry between Nancy Kerrigan and Tanya Harding. They're actually from the same studio back in Arizona. And their mothers have been feuding for a long time. This story right here, these two look beautiful, but it's a hard story to tell. I don't see any connection. I'm not sure that I blame them. This is probably as hard for them as it is for us. Sarah and Connie have danced together for many, many years. They have been close friends. They love each other, but Kira has never liked us from day one. You brought our trash from Arizona. In Arizona, the kid's nothing. How many titles has Sarah won? None. She can't even win in Arizona. How is she going to win here? I feel like Kira shouldn't be here because there have been other moms that have been kicked off the team for doing almost the exact same thing, but yet Kalani's still on the team. I feel like she's getting a free pass. And I feel like Sarah deserves that spot. And I want Abby to see that. Let's see both duets again. Mom, you can go. OK, go ahead. Hi, ladies. Hey. was digging. It just came out. Just want to say, I think um, Mackenzie and JoJo's is adorable. It's cute. And Kalani and Sarah, I think they dance alike. Yeah, Sarah's a beautiful dancer. Seriously? It's hard for me to believe that it's genuine. What happened here last time? You have no idea the impact of what it did on my child. You, you have no idea. That makes it hard to believe you. This woman helped raise Kalani when you were off with your boyfriend. I mean, she didn't even have custody of her son. Jax doesn't even live with you, because you're never home. Don't sit there and lie like a bitch. It's evident those moms are definitely after Kira and Kalani's spot on the team. And it's clear they will do whatever they can to get that spot, even if it's hitting below the belt. You can call me names all you want, because you can't come up with no. something better. No, you're a bitch right now. Don't bring my 
son into this. Don't you dare bring Jax into don't this. Don't come here and No, lie don't you dare that. bring Jax into this. Because you know. I'm not scared of you. And you're pathetic. Karma's a bitch. What goes around comes around. You're absolutely right. Jojo, Sarah, and Brent. You're like my apprentices. You better show me what you're made of, because after this competition, one of you will not be coming back to Pittsburgh with us. Sarah has dreamed of dancing for Abby since she's known of Abby Lee Miller. She considers Abby the ultimate dance teacher, and I'll go to any lengths to get my daughter on this team. What about Sarah, Abby? I mean, she's been here multiple times. You've seen her. You know her personality. You know how she dances. I like Sarah. I think she's a nice little girl, and I think she does know how to behave in situations. In putting her right next to Kalani, you see the feet. You see the turnout, or lack thereof. You see different things that you wouldn't see if she was just on her own. I will never say a bad word about Kalani. She is a great dancer, but her mom does not deserve this opportunity. Trust me, I know her. But, but Abby, but when it came down to it, she abandoned the team, period. That is, loyalty should be a big thing. She abandoned the team when you needed her. You brought in all these other dancers to go against them, and she abandoned the team. I, I, I'm, I'm confused. You don't need to be confused, because it's really none of your business. Yeah, I, I must, it's my business because I'm, my daughter's trying to be on this team. And, and here's the thing, manipulation and lies is what she's all about, Abby. You have a history of so much manipulation, so many lies, and, and, and I would and go I feel like... through the history because I can pull up a lot of things on you, Tracy. You want me to start pulling up things on you here? Because I know you Tracy. don't want me to go there. I will be happy to talk about your arrest Tracy. record and everything else. I've never been arrested. You have been arrested for credit card fraud. D give me a no, break, I have not. Karen. This is what you do, though. When you get in the hot seat, you manipulate. You've been telling lies since you got here. If I was Kira, I would be really nervous about these two moms. It is evident that they're out for blood, and they definitely want Kira's spot on the team. I'm not a big fan of mama drama, but at least Abby's distracted by them, and she's not paying attention to Nia or to me. If someone yeah. said I was arrested and charged with credit card fraud, I would have lost my mind. You didn't Actually, even flinch, Kira. You're making up false things. Whoa, 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 Kira. No. But don't, you, you you're don't better than that. You don't make up you're... false information I, I know, but... about me or what I've been through. I'm just calling you out on some of your crap. What does it say, Jess? I can't read it. So there was a trial and there was sentencing and it was theft and attempt to commit theft. Good God. You said, oh, I can pull a bunch of stuff on you. No, I can pull a bunch of stuff on you. You don't need to fight with me. I have a spot. You need to fight with her. Then again, everyone's replaceable. I love you. Let's do this. Judges, next up is going to be number 253, Tanya and Nancy. Woo! speaks for itself. She was absolutely beautiful, and there is nothing Tracy or these other moms can do that will change that. Kalani is here to stay. Please put your hands together for the overall duet trio. Please applaud. 142 Thrift Shop. Kalani and Sarah's duet did not place. This is not good for her. Right now, I have way too many girls. And the fact of the matter is, somebody's got to go. 
Bryn, obviously, you have potential out the wazoo. I think you're great. I think you definitely have something special. I don't know if I see the passion. JoJo, you're very theatrical. You're exciting. I don't want it to always be theatrical. Sarah, it's easy. You look at me, you're yes, eager, you have it, you work hard. I enjoy working with you, unlike JoJo. Kalani, she might be your replacement. Bryn. I'm gonna take you back to Pittsburgh. JoJo, we're gonna take you to Pittsburgh too. Sarah, come here. You are 14, which is too old for this group right now, okay? I think we'll work together again in the future. Mm -hmm. She's a great dancer. She has a big future ahead of her. It's not with this team, okay? Thank you, Sarah. Being on the team was a really great opportunity, and I wanted to keep going. I thought Abby helped me a lot, and that's why I wanted to keep working with her, but I just feel defeated and let down. Kalani, I'm going to take you back to Pittsburgh, but you better start winning, because I am serious about making changes on this team. 